Sure. Um, my name's Norm Young. I'm from Ontario, Canada, uh, about an hour outside of Toronto. Uh, I've been in IT for like 20 years, and in that whole time, I've been focused on data. Uh, I was a, a database administrator for a long time, working in General Motors. Uh, did some database development uh, as well, and then I, after doing 10 years in manufacturing, I moved out, and then I, I moved into higher education. I spent 10 years there uh, doing everything from PeopleSoft ERP support, uh, data, where, data warehouse, uh, business intelligence programs. Um, and in the last, I don't know, five years or so, uh, when we were starting to use Power BI at the university I was at, gave me an opportunity to start working with SharePoint and Office 365. And, um, it was at that point I realized that I was enjoying the, the collaboration side, uh, SharePoint, Teams, building solutions with uh, all those tools in the Microsoft 365 toolbox. And um, I started to make that focus on uh, uh, on the collaboration side, like I said, and uh, that led into, uh, you know, diving deep into SharePoint and the Teams and, and doing what I could inside of the Power Platform. I begin to get your thoughts on uh, and insights into what you've seen around sort of the, the benefits and the, are you seeing transition, people transitioning from spreadsheets to lists and that type of thing as well? Absolutely. But sometimes it's with guidance. And that's been some of my traditional experience where a user is working in a silo. They're by themselves. They have that that business process, that, that bit of work rep reflected inside of their spreadsheet. It serves them well, but it lacks insight for others. Mm. And so there's usually some type of catalyst for change. And usually it, that catalyst is is a move to something like teams or or having uh, additional team members come in to help with uh, the workload and it's at that point where you know collaborating on the spreadsheet off of one person's computer is just not sufficient fine let's move it up to OneDrive. okay that's a step in the right direction but it's still not enough mm. it's still under a single user's control and in some organizations where employee turnover is something that happens having uh, the business of a team or an organization buried in a OneDrive, it probably isn't the best choice. So surfacing that out into uh, into a, either a SharePoint site or Microsoft Teams is a step in the right direction. So that's great. Now we have Excel. It's centralized. And Excel is good. You and I probably use it every day. But there's a, there's a bit of a free form about Excel. Like you can come in and start adding columns and changing dates and implying uh, status like uh, something is good just by changing the font color or implying that it's bad by using the same font color. But that doesn't necessarily tell the story to everyone and everything. So when we start to think about finding opportunities to add value to some of those business processes, yes, centralization is great. But if things are around a status, for example, that we can key off of and create a trigger uh, whether that is a uh, a message to say, hey, Daniel, you need to do something right now based on that change in that status. Not from green to red, but status is good to blocked. Mm -hmm. Let's take action. And so when we start to formalize what's inside of that Excel and we move it into lists, then we start to have a more consistent and a predictable way of using the list. There's, we take away some of the free form. It's not to say you can't do it in a list, but you don't make that as easy. Okay, so it's not friction that's the value here. The value is, is that you've, you've got a group, we're looking at a list, and we agree on what that business process looks like. It's not up for interpretation every time someone uses something. And because it's in a list, it's centralized, and people have that visibility in it. And so we start to have more opportunities to do things like automation, value add, we start to have more opportunities to do collaboration. The commenting that you mentioned around a row or a list is incredibly powerful. And it's not mm -hmm. something we've always had inside of lists. And so to, to say I'm working on this particular item inside of a list that reflects a business process or a, a, a unit of work that I'm doing, the status sometimes always isn't the, the important piece. It's not the, the only part of the story. So to have that that, that that qualitative information around it to say like, 
yes, the status is green, but these factors were at play to make it green. And that's something that feeds back into the team. And so this is one of the great things about lists over Excel, uh, well, is that we can have collaboration around data. And I think that's one of the powerful things.